Oh my god, here we go. <laughs> the motherfuckers are dumb. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to the channel, guys. Today we are doing the ride out for Zerid. Like, they went ahead and made a fire like a month ago, a month or two ago, just saying, like, this is gonna be the last ride, but we already had one for the funeral. But this is our lineup right here. We got the HP4, we got R1, got my BMW ZX6R. Uh, I don't remember what that one is. That's 250, 1,765, or a street triple maybe. I don't even know what this bike is. Oops. <laughs> Moon and Malik are over there. Everybody gonna pull up, get gas. We have approximately seven minutes until we get rolling. I'll tell everybody they got about seven minutes. Boy, that, that damn R7 sounds so good. Nah, I'll show them in a minute. That damn R7 sounds so good. Ooh, ooh. Yeah, sir, ski. What up, boy? Where's your fingers, man? His wife dropped it. Damn. She dropped the fuck out of it. Boy. Whose wife dropped it? Oh. Whose wife dropped it? Huh? So whose wife dropped it? Well, the dude who had it after he sold it. Oh. Because he sold it to the dude. His wife dropped it. So they scraped off all that shit. And then uh, the dude wanted some work done to it, I guess. But he still owes really money on it. So it's just been chilling in his house the whole time. Damn. Alright. We have to fuel up and head out. Let's get it. Actually, do need gas first, but <sighs> all right, this is the ride to Zary's crash spot. Oh, ZH2. Uh, I, I don't know where it's at. Currently, there's like six cops waiting on us at the on the interstate, so we're gonna be taking back roads today. My boy, it was pretty hot earlier, so. Also, it is now hard for me to freaking shift into neutral. Good old JC. Then uh, adjusted my clutch. So now it's, every time I shift or try to get into neutral, it sounds like I'm I'm rib matching. Hopefully everybody comes on. Man, we're going right up here where they said we weren't going. Where there's freaking cops at? Ah, man. Like, this, uh, this don't make no sense. <laughs> but yeah, this is officially the last rod for Zeri. Uh, like, I don't know where we're going. Like, I've never been to this spot. Oh yeah, hopefully uh, there's no whistling in this video. I don't hear any right now, but I still have not figured out that issue. But I am going to be getting a new helmet soon. Whenever I get the money for that, try not to buy anything too crazy expensive. But if you want a good, decent helmet, it's gonna protect your noggin. You gonna have to pay that price, I guess. But that is not a priority since I have uh, this helmet right now. 
I'm trying to buy a GoPro 11 to upgrade my quality a little bit because you guys don't know I haven't made a video or anything but the way I got this ND filter sitting on here right now is so ghetto rigged we're currently pulling up to where he crashed and you see guys to see the green markings on the road <clears throat> man it's still freaking crazy to even believe like he's actually gone you'll see all the, the flowers that Miller left him right there man I don't even know if everybody is, is back there behind us. I know we have more bikes than this. Kicking my damn Insta 360. So we're all rolling out now. This is, I'll just, I just gotta say, like, this is a very well in my line of work being a firefighter MT. Like, I've had to go to some scenes after some people have passed away and whatnot. And it's a very eerie feeling to know that you were like in the same area where somebody died and for it to be somebody so close to me like just seeing where he hit seeing that you guys can see like his, he hit that roundabout on his bike and everything was way back here like I, I know you guys saw as we rolled up like there's markings way back down there like there's a piece of the concrete missing right there like it's just a uh, really un this is a, a unreal feeling for real like I really don't know how to explain it but now we're about to head out and ride to the stadium Auburn Stadium and we're gonna go take pictures and everything yeah I got everybody to sign this box that has his gloves in it sign it because I don't think everybody signed it but you know all right we currently made it back home from the ride I just wanted to show you guys the actual box that I was talking about and had everybody sign so these were Zary's gloves uh, there's a piece of this bike fairing in there somewhere uh, there it is it's actually right there in the corner but I had everybody sign it. I started to get people to sign down here, but it wasn't showing up. I meant to get a, a white Sharpie, but I did get everybody that was at the ride to sign it. I got mine right there. Yeah, I'm gonna be giving this to probably the sister or somebody in the family that can give it to the dad and everything if I can't reach his dad, but. Once again, proud of the biker community for coming together making something happen hey there's a couple cars out here too so we're not gonna not list them there's a couple cars out here well it was a lot of bikes and although all the bikes didn't uh, come out to the actual crash site uh, they show they still showed up to show their support at Bucky's so and I, I think that means a lot really because like I said before in multiple videos before like it's hard to get uh, bikers to come together and really be organized and do something This is where I'm going to end the vlog at. 
hopefully you guys enjoyed the video i know it wasn't like a hype video or not us doing crazy shit but yeah we decided to come invade this uh forking deck <laughs> it's a little crazy everybody's recording us and looking at us but uh yeah we're in front of the arthur stadium hey guys uh just don't forget where your gear ride safe and i'll catch you guys in the next video peace